For this problem, we start with a CH3, which is bonded to a CH2, which is bonded to a CH, which has an oxygen-hydrogen bond coming off the main chain. Next, another CH with a CH3 coming off the main chain, a CH2, a CH with a nitrogen and a hydrogen and another CH coming off that nitrogen, CH3, excuse me, and then another CH2, and finally a carbon and a double bond to oxygen with another oxygen and a hydrogen. Don't forget the non-bonding electrons. So, drawn out as a line angle structure, we have the following. CH3 up to CH2, CH with an OH coming off the main chain, another CH with a CH3 coming off the main chain, but we don't need to write it in because we assume there's a carbon at the end of that. Another, oh, excuse me, another carbon down here going up to CH makes a bond to nitrogen up here, the nitrogen makes a bond to hydrogen, and another bond to CH3. Another carbon, another carbon which makes a double bond to oxygen, and another oxygen with a bond to hydrogen. Once again, don't forget the non-bonding electrons.